guys, this fabric mod adds modded swords and more. Very few of the swords have crafting recipes. Most of the swords will come from the sword tower that this mod adds. For this tower, I wore diamond armor at first, and I wielded the shimmering slicer, which has better attack damage than a netherite sword, but a worse attack speed. The other swords in this mod that are better than netherite are the steel saw, the eye blinder, the poison edge, the thorn cutter, the crystal cutter, the spike fang, the root ripper, the pirate's blade, the obsidian shard, the gem blade, and the iron heart sword. And outside of being better than a netherite sword, some of the swords have additional perks. The steel saw that was mentioned earlier can also cut trees. The eye blinder is supposed to give the blindness effect 10% of the time and it has 9 attack damage and 1.4 attack speed. The root ripper sword has a 20% chance to give you regeneration as well as offering you 9.5 attack damage and 1.7 attack speed. The gem blade besides having 11 attack damage and 1.5 attack speed also has a 1% chance of making your enemies drop an emerald. The other swords that have extra perks are the Sweet Steel, the Darkened Sword, the Lightning Lord, the Ice Forge, the Crystal Blade, the Winged Warrior, the Wildfire, and the Ninja's Dream. The Sweet Steel Sword has a 20% chance of healing you using the damage that you're doing to mobs. It also has 1.8 attack speed and 7.5 attack damage. The Darkened Sword gives a weakness effect 20% of the time, complete with 6.5 attack damage and 1 attack speed. And you'll probably need these enemies to be weaker. They have enchanted armor which includes the thorns effect at times. Anyways, back to the swords. The Lightning Lord spawns a lightning bolt 20% of the time. That's in addition to its decent 6 attack damage and amazing 8 attack speed. The Ice Forge Sword freezes your enemies briefly which makes up for it having 0.5 attack speed and 6.5 attack damage. The Crystal Blade does low damage compared to some of the other swords in this mod but it is very fast with a great 3.6 attack speed. The Winged Warrior will blow your enemies away from you. It has 1 attack speed and 7 attack damage. The Wildfire Sword, you guessed it, sets mobs on fire with 8 attack damage and 1.6 attack speed. The Ninja's Dream is even faster than the Crystal Blade with 4 attack speed and 7 attack damage. Some mid-tier swords in this mod are the Bone Breaker with 8 attack damage and 1.4 attack speed. The Star Forge, that looks awesome despite it only being 6.5 attack damage and 2.5 attack speed. And the Garden Spike Sword with 7.6 attack damage and 1.5 attack speed. And any warriors who are also ice cream lovers will love the Creamy Cutter. It has a decent 1 attack speed and 7 attack damage. However, the swords in this mod can be enchanted, so I wouldn't discount any of the swords. Once you reach the top of the tower, you open the boss block to fight the tower golem. If you perish in the fight, it might despawn, and you won't get the random sword item that it drops. Some helpful tips I can give you to survive the tower is 1. Attack during the day. 2. Make 3 to 10 iron golems near the tower's base. And 3. Either use torches on the spawners or be an agent of chaos like I was and blow them up. Although you risk blowing up the loot too. Hope you enjoyed. The download link is below. Farewell and kisses. If you're looking for more mods, check out this playlist right here.